This video is about how to control MA3 by a X Touch Compact MIDI controller and via iPad or touchscreen using a template in Touch OSC. As the MA3 software does no longer allow direct access to the executors, for example the faders, the MIDI commands, coming from the Behringer X Touch Compact, is converted to OSC messages by the software Chatane. The Behringer X Touch Compact has many control elements that can be mapped to Grand Emma using two page layers. Each layer has nine motorized faders. There are 39 buttons in each layer. And there are 16 rotary encoders per bank. Each has also an additional push function that can be mapped separately. One thing I like with the X-Touch Compact is that one can replicate the typical MA executor assignment with 101, 201, 301, and 401 labeling. So, look and feel is consistent over the X-Touch and the MA Onc executor window. Please note, instant feedback is currently one way only from X-Touch to on PC and from Touch OSC to on PC. A plugin is available that syncs the X Touch and Touch OSC from the on PC fader setting. This plugin can be configured to send feedback permanently at defined intervals. However, it might not be obvious, but not having a constant feedback, and rather having a feedback on demand is something you may easily get used to. Work on this is underway. This is an example preset for the X-Touch Compact. The lowermost buttons serve as flash buttons. The faders are for controlling sequences and the Grand Master. Above the Go Plus buttons there are buttons assigned to presets, positions, zoom and color presets. The encoders at the right side adjust dimmer, red, green, blue and white, as well as pan and tilt. Pressing these encoders select groups 1 to 8. The buttons below are for, store, assign, clear, and for updating the X touch and OSC settings. Now. How to do the MIDI to OSC mapping. There is a software, Chatane, that is a central hub between almost anything. Protocols, like TCP IP, MIDI, OSC. Various kinds of software, and there are a lot of community modules available. Chatane runs on a variety of operating systems and it is free. However, you are welcome to donate to the author, to keep him motivated further developing this great piece of software. The link to the homepage is in the video description. In Chatane, we must select our input and output modules. In our case the MIDI module and the Grandma 3 module. Select the X-Touch Compact as input and output device. Here we see a list of the notes and control changes. Chatane is already knowing. Analog, the settings for the Grandma 3 module. And here is a list of all the mappings already created. So we mapped Control Knij 1 to Fader 201 on page 1. This are all the options we have for mapping in the Grandma 3 module. And this is the list of all items mapped to Grandma 3. This was just an overview. We will have a build from scratch, step by step tutorial in the next episode. Touch OSC is another great software that lets you control your show from anywhere in the venue, even from the bar, although I would not recommend that. We have several pages here. First the executor pages. 
The encoder page is helpful in programming looks. Same holds for the basic page. The group page contains the group masters and individual groups can be set at any level there. So let's fire up some sequences from your iPhone or tablet while sitting in the audience. Do the programming with the remote encoders. Use store and clear, bring up the lights. Various things from the group pane. I hope you enjoyed the video. The next episodes will cover things in more detail. Thank you for watching.